Happy Thursday, everyone. So I was expecting something really amazing to come in my mail on Saturday, but you know what? I got home from work like just a little bit, little bit ago and it came in today. Jesse James Speeds for the month of May and I'm so excited. I opened the box, but I didn't do anything else. And let me just tell you, when I opened the box and I said, what? Modern Bohemian. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am like, ooh. Because this is like me in a box, basically. I love all this kind of stuff. It's just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, so excited. All right, so enough of that, enough of that. I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna open this up and then I am gonna just have to make something. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Are you sure you really wanna make something after you open this? Are you gonna be able to handle it? I don't know, but we'll find out. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, and away we go. And I just wanna make sure that this is like, going correctly. Sorry guys, I should have checked that before. All right, I think we're really ready. All right, so let's open this up. I haven't even unpacked it. So first things first. So for May 2024, Jesse James Bead Magical Mystery Bead Box is Modern Bohemia. So a lot of great things. So um, what's inside is a Free Spirit Mini Bead Mix, a Modern Bohemian Bead Mix. Hello Sunshine Bead Strand, Born Wild Stone Bead Strand, Adventure Awaits Bead Strand, Peace, Love, and Smiles Chain, Good Vibes Blinks Set, Dream Repentant, and Be Kind Charm Pair. There's a save the date for May 28th. Join them at 1 p.m. with Sarah James, Gem Hawks, Jennifer Miller, and Stacey Heck for an unbox and create live using this magic mystery bead box. So really awesome, right? I'm okay. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna set this aside because that's gonna be my guide in case I don't see what we need. All right. So the first thing we have here is, um, let me grab something, make like my life a little bit easier. All right. So the first thing we have here is the Free Spirit Mini Bead Mix. So I'm gonna get the tape off here. I learned with my first box last month that they, they, they're they taped, which is good. But it was like, what, why was it taped? I need to open this, I need to open it right now. And I was <laughs> kind of a spaz about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get that opened up. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, we're just gonna have to like dump this out to look at it because there is a lot in here. You know what, maybe dumping it out there would not be a good idea. Let's use this. Oh wow, look at all these beautiful beads. So you have some like little um, leaf beads. These are really cool, these extra long like bicones. Those are really pretty. Whoops, we have some little wood beads, which I assumed we would. Ha, wood. These are really cool. These are like little twisty um, spacers, like little pinched metal spacers. Those are really neat. We have some really nice Looks like some, maybe some glass or check glass here. Really pretty. This like really, it's like golden-y, shimmery, opaque, really pretty. A lot of other beautiful beads. Here's some little um, gold cubes. Those are really cute. So we just have the whole mix here. So this is probably gonna tell me that my pieces are going to be mixed metal which is pretty cool. Like I like doing that. So here's some little tiny like um, peach ones. 
Oh, these peach ones are cool because they're like flat on both sides. They're like flat, whoops, flat <laughs> on both sides. And then, I don't know, I'm probably too close to the camera, so you probably can't tell anyway. But this is a beautiful little mix. And then you have these cutie, 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 patootie little tassels. You get two of those. So this is a really cool mix. I really, really like that. All right, so let's put that aside here. <clears throat> and then, let's see. I'm just gonna pull everything out. So we have next is the Modern Bohemian Bead Mix. If you guys are looking for these cute little trays, I got these at the Dollar Tree. Really, really cute. They're with all their like um, seasonal decor stuff right up front when you walk in. Really cute. All right, so Modern Bohemian. Let's pull this out. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right, immediately these, these are little acrylic beads. Look at the cute design. Are they acrylic? Yeah, I thought for a minute they might have been wood, but look at the cute designs on these. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. So adorable. And then we also have in here some really big, juicy crystals. These are gorgeous, so faceted. Okay, so these are, that one's different. So there's some beads in here that look kind of, well, maybe this is like a mistake bead because it's kind of flat on one side and the, the faceted's on the other side, but the other ones are faceted all the way around. So no matter, I will use it anyway. I'll throw a bead cap on the one side and we'll call it good. All right, so we have those. We have some nice rectangular wood beads. I love the grain in these wood beads. These are really pretty. And wood beads are really nice to use, um, especially this time of year, because they're so lightweight. We have some lava stones. I like these, I like the white. It's really pretty. Got some nice thick bead caps there. Oh, these are cute. They have like little fan shapes uh, carved into them. That's really adorable. Those are really neat spacers. You get four of those. I like those. I have a couple of these like twisty spacers, which are really cool. They're like a nice big fat rondelle shape. I like that. So you get four of those too. Get some really pretty faceted pink beads. Some white, some black. And I feel like these are glass here. And they feel like glass to me. And then these big, beautiful rectangles. Um, looks like we have four of these kind of spacers too. This is nice and spacer heavy. I like this. And then here's some more beautiful, cute little tassels. I love those. Those are adorable. Super adorable. Great bead mixes so far. Like, I am digging all of these. Those are beautiful. Okay, and then next we have, looks like we have some bead strands. So, I'm looking for a Hello Sunshine. So, oh, here's the Hello Sunshine. This one has like a beaded bead inside. Right here, look, there's two of them. Oh, and look at these cute daisies. Man, this is a beautiful strand. Like, I don't even want to take it apart. It's so pretty. You know, their strands are amazing. Like, I, I am always like in awe by who picks these out to go together. And 
they're just amazing. Like I would definitely use these like little beaded beads and they're cube shape. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying not to, can you, t can you tell? But they're beautiful. These flowers are to die for. They're so cute. I absolutely love them. So there's that one. Then we have Born Wild Stone Bead Strand. So that would be this one. And it looks like it's a lot of Amazonite, which I am on board with. Very pretty, faceted, just gorgeous beads. Very, very pretty, very cool. And then the next one is Adventure Awaits Bead Strand. Oh, this is cool. I like this one. This one has some nice chunky wood beads in there. Um, looks like you have a couple more lava. These little marble like squares, cube beads are great. Um, these little glass ones have this cutest little design in them. Really pretty. And this reminds me of like a Scrabble tile. And it's, but it's cool. Like, I think that if I were an artist, I would paint on that. But an artist, I am not. But, you know, maybe I still could. You know, maybe if I got some little paints or something, I could make a cute little swirly design on them or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll hold them off on those and do some experimenting. But yeah. Very nice, very chunky, very fun. And it looks adventurous. And these have like little sweater beads because it gets chilly at night, right? So I wanna give us some more room here. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, just so we have some more room. Okay, and next we have Peace, Love, and Smiles Chain. And it's this chain here. I was expecting it to have some like little enamel um, <laughs> decor on it, but that's okay. This is perfect. I love a good cable chain. Actually, it's kind of more like a Rolo, but this is really pretty. And it's in that antique copper color, which will just be perfect for all of this. And then we have Good Vibes Blanks set. So here it is, and let's open it up and look at it. So these can do all kinds of things. I have been saving on Pinterest, and I'm gonna try it one of these days, you guys. I'm gonna try it for myself, and then if I succeed, um, then we will talk about it. And, <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you guys. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you who have already done it, but let me just, I don't wanna cut myself with a staple because I cut myself picking up broken glass from Lucy turning my one glass over onto the floor the other morning. So if I can cut my glass just doing that myself, just picking up some, a big chunk of glass, then you know, all right. So what I'm talking about, and if you are on Pinterest and you're like me and you look for jewelry designs, there are people who will make this into like a beaded scenery. So like they'll do like a little, like a little flower here in the middle and they have like all kinds of other beads going up and around it and really, really pretty. So um, I'm, I want to try that, but if you aren't into anything that in intricate, which I really want to be, but I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> um, you definitely can wrap beads maybe around it or, you know, have something hanging down in the middle of it. Um, I can see like a really cool like charm maybe hanging down in the middle or like um, a beautiful um, larger gemstone maybe hanging down, just simple, hanging down in the middle of it. It would look really cute. I mean, like, look, just imagine. So like, if that was just hanging down in the middle. That would be really cute. Um, and then you have two triangle ones. These would be great for earrings. I think these would be cool just earrings on the, as th what they are. Like you don't even have to do anything with them and they'd be amazing earrings. 
And then these are bead frames. These are super cool because you can use those with all your teeny tiny beads if you wanted to and really just dress it up. Like I can imagine this being one single pendant and just taking someone's like maybe birthstone bead or the color of their birthstone bead and putting it all the way through there on like a, on like a head pin and making this a single pendant on a really nice Coriana chain. That would be really cool. So we got four of those. I can also see those as a really sweet pair of earrings too. You know, you could even do like the chakra colors, like the, you know, the whole thing here and maybe do like a pair of earrings like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, the, the ideas are just swimming in my head. All right, so then we also have Dreamer Pendant. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, it's got a really nice little veil on it already. Oh my gosh, this looks like the sky. Like laying down, looking up at the sky and just seeing those like little clouds, those little feathery clouds going through the sky. And yeah, just dreaming. That's a really pretty pendant. That is gonna look so nice with all of this. And then we have Be Kind Charm Pair. Very good message, always be kind. And these are just the most adorable little charms. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The rainbow is in that um, antique copper and the back looks like that. So it's a nice little finished back. These are stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I can't even take it. Okay, you guys, I can't even take it. <laughs> All right, and then it looks like we have like a little bonus thing here. And it looks like we got some fairy silk. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like if, if I could get 50 boxes like this, this would be like my dream come true. I am so floored. I was not expecting this at all. And it is just absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And if any of you are a fan of boho, you know, look, I mean, this is this is everything right here. I mean, this box is everything. I can't even believe it. I don't even know where to start. I need to like turn this off for a second and um, I need to look at everything and I need to make something really, really cool. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys. So it doesn't look like I have much out here, does it? Well, I do, but I don't. But what we're going to do is we're going to make two pairs of earrings. So I saw some things and I'm like, that's gotta be an earring. So we have two pairs and what I'm using is the tassels from Modern Bohemia, Mo Modern Bohemia, and I'm sorry, and I'm using beads from, um, oh, these beads are from Modern Bohemian too. And same with, nope, just these, <laughs> these white ones, or yeah, these opaque ones. And then the other beads, all the other beads that you see are from the Free Spirit. And then we have two of the uh, blanks, the silver blanks here that we're going to use. So super excited about this. And we are going to make two super cute, super simple pair of earrings. So, oh, hold on, I think I hear some at the door. Right okay, back. sorry about that, you guys. All right, so now that we have everything here, um, just going to make sure I have everything. So we have the two blanks, the rectangular shaped blanks. I have my ear wires. You need a two head pins, two eye pins, and um, some beads. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, put this together to make this really cute earring. So what I decided to do was put this little head pin right through here, and we're just going to start with two of these peachy ones, okay? 
and it looks like they got a little bent out of shape, but once we get these beads in, I'll just fix that. It'll probably be like no big deal. And then let's do the little copper one here. And then the white one. And then the copper. And then two more of this peachy color. Oh my goodness. Getting the last couple on is like, like when you're using bead frames or whatever, sometimes it's hard to get the last, like get that bead in there. All right, so this is what it would look like. And I am just going to gently squeeze this because it looks like it's pretty, it, it's kind of squeezable. I don't want to like break my beads, but I want to just kind of make sure it's still a nice rectangle shape there. All right, so I'm gonna use the flat head pin so it just sits flat against that. And then I'm going to make a simple loop. So while that is snug in there, I made sure it was really tight before I went ahead and bent my wire. So we'll go ahead and trim off some of this wire All right, and oh, there they are. Get my round nose pliers. And we're just going to roll this back and make a loop. Okay, there's our loop. So now I could stop there and just hang that, but what fun would that be, right? We're gonna put another bead on there and we're gonna use an eye pin for it. So, and we're just going to do another simple loop just making it real easy today. My intention is to give you guys a real easy earring, fun and easy earring project that you can make. Okay, so um, let's talk Jesse James beads. So this is my second box that um, I ever got. And I have to say it's two for two. Like there, I have no, I have nothing but love for everything that I have gotten. But I can tell you right now that if I had to vote on the my top two or my top one out of the two, this one would have to be number one for me. I absolutely love it. I adore it. I think it's amazing. It's like everything I love. Like when I look at like home decor stuff too, I look at boho stuff. When I'm looking up like dresses to buy or outfits to buy, I'm looking up boho style. I mean, it's it's like, I know that you guys don't see me wear a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff, but when I'm looking to shop for stuff, I do have some pieces that, um, like outfits that would be considered boho, some cute like sundresses that are very floral and, and flowy and, um, I absolutely love them. So here's our first earring, and I think that is really super cute. So we can go ahead and make our next one. So it's so funny because my mom's like, so it's boho now, but when I was you know, younger, it was hippie. And I'm like, well, they're really the same, like kind of the same-ish style mom you know i was explaining to her i'm like you know it's still kind of you know similar but boho is the um i don't know it's like it's just i i don't know how i explained it to her but it's just a little bit different it's a lifestyle it's a it's a it's a style period it, you know And it's hard for me to talk my husband into it because he's not, he's not all that into it. Like he, I told him, I said, when we redo our bedroom, that's what I'm going to be doing. I want like, you know, I want it to be very boho chic. And he's like, I don't even know what that means. And so I started like sending him pictures of like bedrooms, you know, that are decorated like that. And he's like, yeah, I don't know if I like that. And I'm like, well, that just doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, he just looks at me and laughs, but you know, cause I'm not, I'm not serious. If he does really didn't like it that much, I wouldn't do it. But I honestly don't think he really cares all that much. He just wants to go in there, go to bed and go to sleep or find his clothes in his dresser and move on with life. He doesn't spend time in the bedroom really other than sleeping. So he doesn't really mind. All right. So now we got our other loop made for our other earring. And these are gonna be super adorable and I'm just so excited. And I can't wait to try both pairs on when we're all done because I think you guys are gonna absolutely love them. It even kind of matches my ring right now, like all the, the colors that we had. And that was not done on purpose. Like I wore this ring today because I haven't worn it in a long time and I love the little cha-cha rings. And I always forget that I have them and um, I have a couple different ones that I absolutely love. And I thought to myself, you know what? I haven't worn one in a long time. I'm going to wear it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and do the same thing here. Yeah, the minute I saw these, I'm like, yeah, those are for sure earrings with beads in the middle of them. That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so here is our first pair of earrings. And I think they turned out absolutely darling. I think they're really cute. And I hope you guys like them too. So there's those. And now we will go ahead and do the next pair. So the next pair I thought would be really cute to have these tassels down, hanging down here at the bottom. And um, got quite a bit of stuff here. So my idea was to use these big beads. I want to be able to put a bead in here. And I also want to use the little gold cubes and another peachy bead up here. So we're gonna try to figure out exactly what I need to do to make this happen. All right, so I think the simplest thing for me to do right at this moment is go ahead and let's put these on our eye pins. Okay. Beautiful, right? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our simple loop here too. funny just when I move my um, my tools out of the way I'm like oh I need that back <laughs> all right and simple loop okay there's one and see the same with this one super easy you can whip these up in no time flat but they are really gorgeous. I think the most time I spent was just picking out which, which way I wanted to do something and how I, you know, which beads I wanted to use. That was like my longest time was like deciding exactly how I wanted to make it happen. All right, so there we go. Now this is going to be, I think a little bit Different, I didn't grab gold head pins. Let me just scoot over there and grab those real quick. And, okay. See, and I thought I had everything, you guys. I always do, I always think I have everything. So here's a couple of those. Yeah. So these jars, cute little jars, Dollar Tree. <laughs> just want to let you guys know. <laughs> um, all right, so we have that. And I think what I want to do next is we're going to do a wire wrapped loop here on this bead because it's going to hang down here. 
So I want to make it kind of a tiny loop and a tiny wrap. So I'm kind of going towards the end of my, my players here just to make it small. I want it to make sure it fits in that little triangle space really nicely and doesn't get stuck like on the bottom here and we're just going to do a couple little wraps I did three okay so just a teeny tiny little wrap and then we can cut off our extra there we go squish in that little piece there. All right, so we have that one. And then we can do the same thing with this guy. All right, and I'm making a teeny tiny loop. And I'm just using my hands to make that wrap. And just three times around is good. All right, so there they are. Squish that in. All right, so now here is where I'm thinking I maybe, okay, we're gonna wanna put I think we want to do, this is where I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna go down. So let's put our little dangle on there. Let's hang it from here. And I'm using three millimeter jump rings. And then put that on, I think this is gonna work. If it makes it too long, we may have to reconfigure this. Nope, I think it's actually gonna be okay. Yeah, hey, you guys, that worked. All right, so I just need one more of these. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm always surprised when something works out. <laughs> like, oh, it worked. And then do the same thing, hang on our dangle. Put this on our tassel and then our beads. Fun, fun, fun. This is fun earrings, fun earrings. Okay, so there we go. And now we can go ahead and put our ear wires on. And we have two pairs of super cute, very different from each other, earrings. These are both very wearable with anything, you guys, anything at all. So I'm done with that, and I am going to turn this around and show you guys what they look like on, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the tassel earrings, and they are so lightweight and really cute. I really like the little dangle in the in the triangle part of the tassel. It just gives it a little something extra. Really cute. All right, and now I'll put on the silver pair. Okay, let's stop spinning around there. There's one. And there's the other one. See how cute they are? And they're not super duper long, so you could actually really get away with them if you like shorter earrings. They're not super long at all. So I hope you guys liked these two pairs of earrings that we made, and I thought they were really adorable, and I'm super happy with them. Um, if you guys are interested in getting the Jesse James uh, bead, mis Magic Mystery Bead Box, Magical Mystery Bead Box, there we go, 
you can click on the link that I have for you below and put in the promo code Jody 10 and you'll save $10 on your first box. So that's huge because the boxes are 49 and if your first box will only be $39. So big deal. That's a good deal. So, um, yeah, you guys, this box here, I don't think it ever says like how much this box was worth, but I know that they're usually up there pretty high. I mean, you're getting two bead mixes. I've got three strands. I got some chain. I got some um, beautiful pendants, charms, um, just so much stuff. And these bead mixes are amazing. Like I used a lot of beads from this bead mix and this is still super full. Like th this here is going to be a, a cute little necklace. I just know it's going to be. And I plan on maybe even teaming it up with that really pretty pendant and having teeny tiny beads be the chain. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking I need to use this entire thing on the chain. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. But again, if you're interested, jump on over to the show notes there. Click on my link. Jody 10 will get you $10 off and it's a big deal. And I think that I'm not sure if you still have time to get the May box. I think you might have time still to get the May box. I think you have to get it. Oh, oh I think over the next like week or so, you should probably be okay. I can't remember exactly when it changes over. Um, I could ask and try to find that out too, but I think you would still be able to get the May, the May one because um, their boxes come at the end of the month. So I think you still have plenty of time to act on that one if you're wanting this bohemian one. I, if you haven't done it and you want to try it out, this is your time to try it out. This is a cool box, you guys. All right, you all, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm sure you'll be seeing my face this weekend. Um, hopefully my eye will get a little bit better. Um, it is what it is, right? <laughs> all right, everybody, much love to you all. Many blessings to you all and have a really great night. Bye. Mm -hmm.